Today, we're making turmeric sun-sensitive prints, also called turmeric anthotypes. You will need turmeric powder, alcohol, whether that's vodka, medical alcohol, or isopropyl alcohol, baking soda or borax, leaves, paper cutouts, stickers, etc., aluminum tray, disposable cups slash utensils, gloves, paper towel or cloth or coffee filter, and paper. I used watercolor paper. You'll want to mix one teaspoon of turmeric powder and four to six teaspoons of alcohol, but I didn't really measure and it was mostly just wanting to get a pretty liquidy consistency with some turmeric floating around for me. I used a plastic tray and a scrap piece of paper to mix my solution, but I would recommend that you probably use a spoon or a knife or a fork and a paper cup because turmeric stains really easily. And so in this process, I would also recommend wearing gloves. I forgot to do that in the beginning and I stained my pinky fingernail. Next, you'll want to use a paper towel as a filter and pour your turmeric alcohol mixture through that filter into another container on the bottom. And remember to wear gloves, as I said before, because turmeric stains everything. Here, I made a filter out of a paper towel, forming it into a sort of cone shape and then pulling down the side so that it will stay in my bottom cup. And then I'm just remixing the turmeric and alcohol so that it's more homogenous and then slowly pouring it through almost like you're making drip coffee. I then used a piece of chipboard to slowly prod the remaining particles, hopefully to get more liquid going down. But again, I would recommend you use a utensil of some sort because this was a little impractical. Next, you can paint with the filtered solution that you got. And I painted in these rectangular sections, but really you can cover the whole page if you'd like or do different shapes. So here you can see how bright that pigment is and you want to make sure that it's fairly saturated. I hung my pieces off the side of my desk to fully dry. Ideally, you want to let it dry in a relatively dark place. Now you can cover your paper with all sorts of fun things. You can use plants, paper cutouts, stickers. I used blue tape to stick all of my plants on and I made sure to tape on the white part because blue tape does affect um, how the sun hits the various patches of yellow. And so it can also be a nice design decorative element if you'd like. You'll see this black piece of paper pop up every once in a while in this video. I was just curious if it would work. It did not work. So stick to white or experiment with other lighter colors. Now you'll want to expose the paper to the sun for four to six hours. And as you do, the pigment that is exposed will get lighter, but the parts that are covered will stay dark. I taped my paper to a window facing outward and I moved it around the building depending on where the sun was throughout the day. I exposed my prints to the sun for a really long time from sunrise basically because I had taped it the night before to around 4 p.m. As you can see, the parts that were covered by leaves or tape were significantly darker than the parts that were exposed to the sun. Here's a better shot of what the prints look like right after I took the leaves off. I cut the print into more manageable chunks so that I can wash it with the baking soda mixture more easily. Next, you'll want to mix two teaspoons of baking soda with half a cup of warm water. Rinse all of your prints with this mixture and I found, although I started with spooning slash pouring, that it was easier just to have a layer in the aluminum tray and then dipping the print face down into the tray. And also, I saw on some other people making anthotypes, their color seemed to change immediately, but my color seemed to develop slowly over time, so it will get darker. And here are the prints right after I patted them dry. You can also rinse them with water if there's any leftover baking soda residue. And here's my black one. I rinsed it, nothing came out, so now you know. And as you can see from these photos, the color got darker as I let it sit longer. Also keep in mind that these may fade over time with more sun exposure. 
So keep them in a photo album or I read online that you could perhaps cover it in wax. Thank you.